Honda's Goldwing has gotten a makeover. The most noticeable aspect of the all-new 2018 version is the size, or lack thereof, and it certainly drew attention at the Progressive International Motorcycle Show in New York. It's smaller, sleeker, and on the road, much more nimble. It's almost as if its predecessor had gotten too big. I don't know if the Goldwing outgrew itself, but maybe um, it was time for a change. It was long overdue for a change, and we, we understand a lot of customers really wanted some new things out of the Goldwing, and we had to take a, a whole new look from the ground up or from the road up to build a bike that not only appealed to the customers that we have today, but the customers that maybe defected and went to a different brand, or maybe the new touring customers that are coming into touring like in the next two to five years. The 2018 Goldwing is 90 pounds lighter. The six-cylinder engine has dropped nearly 14 pounds alone, while the gas tank size has shrunk from 6.6 .6 gallons to 5.5 gallons. But the Goldwing's range is expected to be unchanged due to increased fuel efficiency. For Honda, the challenge was to attract new customers without alienating existing ones. There's over 200,000 Goldwings being registered every year and still on the, on the road. So the last thing you want to do is alienate any of those customers. You want to keep them in the, in the family, but on top of that, you want to keep the same fit, feel, and finish that the Goldwing has been known for, which is amazing DQR. It's, it's great on the long distance haul and it's it's comfortable for two up. The Goldwing now has a six-speed manual transmission as well as DCT, an automatic tranny that's growing in popularity. DCT, we brought it out in ATVs uh, 10 plus years ago and then we introduced it on a couple motorcycles the last few years like the NC700, the CTX and now the Africa Twin and each it seems like each year we introduce DCT on another model the DCT percentage of contribution or the percentage of sales goes up a little farther and a little farther and Africa Twin is probably the best we have right now where you're seeing somewhere between 20 and 30 percent models being DCT versus manual transmission. Where Goldwing, um, I, I, I truly believe you're going to see uh, even a higher uh, percentage of contribution in, in DCT versus manual than we've seen on any motorcycle out there. One interesting feature, Hill Start Assist when stopping on inclines. Well the Goldwing came out with Hill Start Assist because we know a lot of people ride in hilly countries. We load these things down with the rider and the passenger and you get on a steep incline and the last thing you want to have to do is feather a clutch to take off and Hill Start Assist has been around in our automobiles and Honda automobiles for years and it's a very simple system. It basically holds the brake for three to five seconds before you, you hit the gas or the clutch and you can take off from a hill with absolutely no slippage going backwards and makes a customer or a rider feel so much more secure. Another modern feature, no key. First time a Goldwing has never had a key and we we wanted to do this one for the ease of the customer that has their key in their pocket. It starts to rain, you put your rain gear on and you can't get to your key. That's the last thing you want to happen when you're a rider. And the keyless entry now, you can basically walk up to the bike, turn the, the, uh, the accessory or the ignition on and hit the start button and drive away or ride away. Um, the other really nice feature with our keyless entry is it has an on and off switch. So basically for safety reasons, even if you're in the realm of the motorcycle with the keyless uh, fob, you can also have the key fob off so there's no way the bike can be started if you're sitting near it maybe having breakfast or dinner and someone could get on the bike and accidentally start it or if there was someone small child in the garage um, you could have the key fob off and there's no way for that person to start it even if you're standing right next to the motorcycle. All the high-tech features are overshadowed though by Goldwing's svelter appearance. The big message from the new Goldwing is definitely it's smaller, sleeker, handles better, and lost almost 90 pounds, which is a huge feat in itself when you're taking a bike like the Goldwing and keeping all of the same things everyone expects the Goldwing to have and lose 90 pounds. And on top of that, as you said, it makes it handle even better. For Ride Connecticut and Ride New England, I'm Bud Wilkinson.